Hey guys, LEGO Reviewer 360 here, doing a review on the LEGO Grand Emporium. Um, it's ages 16 plus, set number 10211, and it's 2,182 pieces. Get a little bit closer look at it here. It's quite large. It's kind of in the modular building series of, uh, of the sets, and it has three instruction manuals. It was $1.99, but I got it 10% uh, off, and I got free shipping, so it was a pretty good deal. Um, yeah, on to the minifigures. Okay, here are the minifigures. Um, first off, we'll start with your shopper. Um, it really it doesn't come with that many minifigures for the size of the set. It should come with about eight, I think would be a good number. Um, so she's carrying some bags with some items in them. Um, not a new torso, just green pants. A little bit of back printing, just a little strip. And she's got that kind of ugly, rounded haircut. The one thing that really annoys me about this set, and I'm going to say it right now, all the figures have the same faces, which is really annoying. Oh, uh, yeah, but that's uh, the chopper. Then you have your streaker. I'm just kidding. He's, he's, uh, cha he's actually changing, so he's not supposed to be wearing any pants, which I found kind of funny. So these are his pants, because um, it has a change room, obviously, so he's supposed to be changing. Um, he has that kind of suit, uh, vest, and kind of unbuttoned tie, and no back printing. But nice, nice legs to have. Um, so that's it for him. Then you have your sales lady. Uh, this is the identical one to the one that almost, that almost, just the hair is different, to the one that comes in the, uh, transportation set, the Lego City one. Um, so she has a kind of... Uh, fitted suit, like suit jacket, um, white pants, nothing special, but still a nice minifigure. Um, I think there should be two sales representatives for this store, but there's only one. Then you have a little kid who's wearing a pirate jacket, which is kind of weird, um, in the back. I thought that was kind of weird, and he's wearing the short legs. He has the short legs, can't move. Um, red baseball cap, regular face. Same face as all the others. And then you have your window washer. Um, it's green overalls, red shirt, red hat, broom. This is a two-part, by the way, just so you know. Um, in the back, same thing. Yep, that's about it for the minifigures. Um, so in total, there's six with this set. No, there's five, but you get two more but they're mannequins so I'll show you those after but uh, now we're gonna go on to the building itself okay now onto the set itself um, I'm just gonna do the exterior of the building and then the interior is gonna be in part two uh, so here's the window washer he's washing the windows it comes with a broom which is kinda weird for a window washer but um, main features on the ground are the tiling it's got really really nice tiling a little flowers came off. They don't sit too well sometimes in the little pots in there. Um, but the tiling is really nice. Those are all little, little two by twos, so that's very nice. Um, big yellow shop sign obviously draws you in. Um, as does the billboard on top, which I will get to later. Uh, so the two flower pots, main feature of the kind of the outdoors, adds a nice look to it. Same with the spinning the revolving door. I thought it was a little big when you scale it to a minifigure. It's a little big, but that's all okay. Um, there's a light post here. It just has a see-through head for the uh, actual light part. And then you have a mailbox. There's two pieces of mail in there, but you all know what the mail pieces look like, so I'm not going to show you that. Um, two pegs to connect it to separate sets, Green Gosher, Fire Brigade, all those sets. Um, there's lights on the kind of stone pillars, which I really like. That's one of my favorite parts. Really repetitive to build those, since you have to build four. And if you're wondering how I'm spinning this, this is the little wood uh, spinning thing I got from my table, dining room table. Uh, I thought it'd be easier for this review. There is two man. Those are the two mannequins, but they don't have faces, so I didn't bother to show them in this uh, in the minifigure. So I'm just going to show them when I do the interior of the building. Um, flags, move, window detail is so nice. Especially at this top. This was also repetitive. Same with the windows. There's some repetitiveness with this, but it's a really fun set to build. I just watched Christmas movies as I built it. Um, really nice. 
ice cream stand opens up so kids can get ice cream. There's a spare little thing of ice cream there. Little, there's already like a little cup of there. Um, and then around the wall, you can see it's kind of got layers to it. Um, they not a lot of people ask if the roof uh, comes off easily. It does come off easily. Like I, I mean, in other reviews, I, I not this review because obviously it's not up yet. Um, it does have a back door that opens and closes. Um, it's got a little light here for the back door, obviously, and it's got a garbage can. It's not a garbage can, it's just like a pail kind of crate thing. Um, yeah, it's overall really nice look. Roof, it's, um, got a skylight, which you can see all the way down to the bottom. It's quite tall, actually. It's deceivingly large. I don't see my leg there. Sorry about that. I have to sit close to it to get this camera in close. Um, the skylight doesn't come off like it's, it's in there. It does wiggle a bit, but it, it's not going to come apart. Uh, it's really solidly built. Unless you drop it, of course. <laughs> uh, billboard is really neat. I really like the present and the face. It's really cool. Adds a lot of uh, look to it. A lot of nice look, and you can you can put. There's no way to get onto the roof. Like there's no fire escape. I would have liked the fire. The reason they don't put a fire escape is because you're supposed to attach this obviously to other buildings. The only thing I found weird was why would you? I thought you would. They would put the pegs here. Because the back door is facing out this way, and so are the windows. So if you put another set, it's going to cover that up. So that was a little weird. Um, but yeah, they're really nice set. Um, yeah, okay, now we're going to go on to the interior in part two. So just uh, look in the um, other videos. Like It should come up right after this. I'll put a link um, to part two in the under bar. And goodbye.